really important to look at the customer experience and how you onboard new customers, especially in a SaaS business, but even, even if not, because, you know, um, that drives long-term growth. Now, I'll talk about some metrics in a minute. This is another model that looks at the cross-functional jobs to drive customer lifecycle in those four stages that I just described. And to me, you know, all of these models and frameworks are decked against customer needs and customer pain points to become more operationally efficient. Um, recently, does anybody know who Fred Reichert is? Yeah, you do. Fred Reichard started NPS 20 years ago. He's been at Bain for 40 years. And I recently got him on his CMO group I'm a member of to talk about Net Promoter Score. And he just came out with Net Promoter Score 3.0. And he came out with a new metric, which he's calling earned growth. And what that is, if you look at you know, gross and net retention, lifetime value, those metrics, if you look at your net retention, and you, when you get a new customer, a new logo, if you can ask them, was this from another customer referral? Did another customer refer you and how important was that? If you can bifurcate those that were a new customer referral from not and you add that to your net retention, that's what he's calling earned growth. And when you think about, you know, I personally think that a lot of companies have over-rotated on demand always looking at the front end and getting new customers without focusing enough on your customer base and keeping them happy. So he wrote a new book called Winning on Purpose, and it's all about loving your customers. And when you think about it, if you can create more promoters that, that are advocates and evangelists for your brand, that's a much better way to grow. And your CFO will be very happy with that because that's going to drive long-term growth lifetime value and valuation.